welcome to a new video that isn't a vlog and it's actually some Disney content that I've got coming for you today. So, as you will have seen from the title of this video, you probably wouldn't have clicked on it if you haven't seen the title of this video. Um, I thought I would jump on here today and give you the top 10 things to know before you book the Disney Magic at Sea cruise. So if you're like me and Becky and thinking of potentially looking into booking the Disney Magic at Sea cruise, um, then you've come to the right place. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Then you've come to the right place because I have literally just written a load of stuff on my computer and I'm going to give you a quick fire top 10 things to know before you book the Disney Magic at Sea cruise line. So let's jump straight into it. No waffling today, we're getting straight in. Okay, so number one, first thing that you need to know is that bookings open on Friday the 30th of April for the general public. If you are part of the Castaway Club or um, the DVC, so Disney Vacation Club, then there is some earlier dates which I think start from the 28th of April, but if you are one of them, you will have had an email. If you are general public though, we are, they are going on sale from Friday the 30th of April and they haven't really released a time, but I'm gonna say it'll probably be about 9 a.m. because on the Disney um, like Cruise Line website for booking Disney Cruise Line, um, it says that their phone lines open from 9 a.m. weekly, Monday to Friday. So I'm assuming that from 9 a.m you can book it on Friday the 30th of April. So if you wanted to book it, that's the date you need to book. You either can book directly with Disney themselves or you can go to another travel agent. Um, I would highly, highly, highly recommend Ever After Holidays. If you've never heard of them, they are a independent travel agents who are a small team of like five or six people. This isn't sponsored by the way, I just think they're great. Haven't been on holiday with them either. I've had a holiday booked, got cancelled, got a refund in 24 hours. So I just think they're really good. Um, every single member of staff who work for them are ex Walt Disney World um, cast members. They know the stuff. If you want to book a Disney holiday, they're the people. So that's number one. Friday the 30th of April, probably 9am. Number two, this cruise is exclusive to UK guests and residents. So... I find that quite exciting that we have something that is exclusive. We don't really get opportunities like this um, over here in the UK. So I feel like if you're a Disney fanatic like us, you really, really need to consider going on this because I feel like it's never gonna happen again. <laughs> um, yeah, it's exclusive to UK residents. If, I hope you know this, but if, you don't know if you're part of the UK. A UK resident means that someone who is from England, Scotland, Wales, or Northern Ireland. Those four places. I should hope you know that, but I've just thought it to clarify. Um, and also, the departure locations, this is still number two by the way, the departure locations for the cruise is, let me just read it from the screen, Liverpool, Southampton, Newcastle, and London, Tilsbury. So they are your four departure locations. So that's number two. Moving on to number three. What have I put as number three? Right, this is where I'm gonna have to read the screen. I do apologize. So Disney have released the rules for health and safety rules for actually things to consider before you book. So number three, guests 18 years of age and older must be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 as defined by the NHS. The NHS currently defines a fully vaccinated person seven days after their final dose of the vaccine. Disney Cruise Line will contact guests prior to sailing with instructions on how to show proof of your vaccination status. So, depending on what date you're wanting to book the cruise line, um, if you know for sure you won't have had both doses by then and it will have been seven days since your second dose, you're not gonna get on that cruise. So yeah, if you're over 18, you have to have had both doses of the vaccine and you have to have had a seven day window after your second dose. So you can't have your second dose and then go on the cruise two days later. They won't let you on, even though you're fully vaccinated because you're not technically fully vaccinated until seven days after the second 
dose. So that's number three. Number four, <laughs> guests under 18 are not required to be vaccinated, but you must have proof of a negative COVID-19 test result paid for by the guest. So you have to pay for your child's or if you are yourself under 18 going, although I don't know, actually know if they let under 18s on without an adult, probably not. So if you've got a child under 18 going, um, you have to pay for yourself for a negative COVID-19 test result and you can't book um, through the free testing website um, unless you actually have symptoms. So you will have to actually pay for one through a private company. Um, but it does state though, here that Disney Cruise Line have secured a special discounted rate though through a third party vendor for the COVID-19 test and they will contact guests prior to sailing with instructions on how to complete and submit their test results and obtain the discounted rate with the third party vendor. So you will get it slightly discounted than um, what you'll find online. So if you are thinking of booking, at least you know that. Um, I don't know if Disney Cruise Line when you ring up and book might be able to help you find out how much that might be. I don't know, but yeah. So if you're over 18, you've got to be fully vaccinated. If you're under 18, you've got to have a negative COVID result. Okay. Number five is all guests, those included, let's say that again. Number five, all guests, even those who are fully vaccinated are required to undergo an antigen, antigen COVID-19 rapid test admission by a third party in the terminal prior to boarding at Disney's expense. So anybody, I've lost where I'm up to, anybody testing positive at the terminal will undergo a second test to verify the results. Guests with a positive COVID-19 test result and their entire party will therefore be denied boarding if you do test positive. So basically the rapid testing kits that all the schools are using at the minute that are being used twice a week um basically you'll have to do one of those before they let you on the cruise even if you're an over 18 that's fully vaccinated because like they keep saying in the news just because you're fully vaccinated doesn't mean you can't pass it on okay number six daily temperature checks and health questionnaires will be required for all guests prior to embarkation and during the cruise. So I'm guessing you'll have to take your temperature before they let you on the cruise at the terminal when they do the uh, rapid testing kit. And then I'm assuming at least once a day you'll have your temperature taken whilst you're on the cruise. Number seven, all guests aged 11 and older are required to wear a face covering whilst on the cruise and at all terminals unless you are in your stateroom eating or drinking in a designated seating area or whilst stationary swimming or occupying a deck chair so basically you've got to keep your mask on if you're over 18 at all times unless you're eating you're in your room or you're going swimming number eight of the top 10 things to know before you go to the disney magic at sea is all payments I didn't know this until just before I started filming this video. All payments on board will be taken in US dollars and will therefore be subject to the conversion rate in any applicable international transaction fees imposed by your bank or card provider. However, Disney will be applying a 2% discount to all final bills to account for this. I don't know about you, but I find that a bit weird that it's a UK cruise open to UK guests only but you're paying in us dollars i don't know something to consider before you book i don't know something to consider isn't it anyway so that's number eight <laughs> number nine um of the top 10 things to know before you go um subject to government approval upon reopening certain onboard venues experiences and other offerings will be modified or unavailable will have limited capacity and will be subject to limited availability advanced reservations or even closure so basically depending on what the government's uk rules are in terms of hospitality and entertainment venues and vice versa will depend on what is available whilst you're on the cruise so when you book your cruise if it's still a uk law 
um, based on the current restrictions that like theatre shows aren't allowed to take place then therefore there'll be no theatre shows on board because there's a current UK law or if it is a current thing that if they bring back that bars have to close then the bar on board will probably be closed um, vice versa um, things like that and um, they're basically saying that you'll have to do an advanced dining reservation sounds a little bit like Walt Disney World that doesn't it so I'm assuming there might be an app I don't know that's just guessing but um, yeah so just bear in mind that even though you're booking this now and you're thinking okay 21st of June everything's supposed to be back to normal it should be okay we all know what's going on with this Covid stuff don't we curb balls get thrown left right and centre so whatever Boris decides it could affect your cruise at what is available whilst you're on board so take that into consideration as well when you're booking on Friday the 30th of April and finally I thought I'd end on a happier note rather than all this Covid rules number 10 and the last thing to know before you go on the Disney Magic at Sea is that it's Disney and it's not just any old cruise it's not something that us UK guests will probably ever get again an exclusive cruise just for us you'll still get your Disney character meet and greets you'll get your musicals subject to Bojo um, and yeah you'll just get all the magic of the Disney cruise line um, sailing on the Disney magic cruise um, yeah so if you're a Disney fanatic it's going to be magical. So just bear that in mind as well. So yeah, so that is my top 10 things to know before you book the Disney Magic at Sea cruise line. Um, I hope this quick fire video has been helpful for you. Um, I had a lot of fun making it actually. I haven't done a video like this in ages and I wanted it to be super quick. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions at all about the cruise line and you can't be well looking it up yourself, Comment down below and I'll find the answer for you. I'll happily will do. And um, yeah, I'll leave links in the description box below as well. If you want to go and look up anything, I'll leave the links. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. So if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you have never watched a Daily Disney Girls video before, we have Walt Disney World vlogs and Disneyland Paris vlogs um, on this channel. And then we do weekly vlogging here in the UK, which isn't really Disney related. But if you like weekly vlogs, I don't know, maybe give us a follow. So hit that subscribe button if you're new, if you like this video and you want to maybe check out our vlogs. Um, and I upload every Monday at 5pm, subject to me not being mega busy. But most of the time it's Monday at 5pm. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we shall see you next time. Bye!